Hey, how you doing today? Today I'm fishing the St. Joe River and I thought this was a great opportunity for some of you beginning fly fishers out there to show you how to do an upstream mend. Why that's important is because if you're fishing a nymph along a stretch of river, you want to throw it slightly upstream and the nymph is going to travel by you, but so is your line. And in some cases, your line will travel faster than your nymph. So you have to be able to mend the line upstream so as to keep a nice straight line to your fly. So if the fish takes it, you uh, can easily uh, set the hook. So let me demonstrate what I mean. Okay, so I'm fishing a nymph today on the St. Joe, and it's a pretty even current, but still your nymph has a tendency to kind of slow down as it's going through the water, so your floating line will pass it up. So let me demonstrate what I mean by mending. So you kind of throw the nymph upstream. Now, if I don't do anything at all, you can see there's a big loop of line that's starting to head downstream further than the indicator. So now I'm getting this great big arc in the line and if a fish right now grabs that fly, it is very difficult to set the hook because you've got that big, huge arc in your line. So it's just, it's just not beneficial. Your odds are going to go way down by uh, uh, in, in hooking a fish if you've got that big loop in your line. So let me uh, demonstrate what a high upstream mend looks like. So as soon as you cast your fly, the first thing you want to do is bring your rod up and move the line upstream bring your rod up and move the line upstream see how I've, I've kept a nice straight line to the fish or straight line to the indicator of course i just had a fish grab it so let me demonstrate again i'll try to get the whole rod in the picture and i'll kind of exaggerate the motion all right so you're casting upstream all right so now immediately high mend so i'm mending the line upstream high mend and i'm trying not to influence the fly because if you do too much of an aggressive um, mend, then you're gonna miss the opportunity to, uh, to set the fish. So of course I had another fish grab it, which is kind of cool. All right, so let me demonstrate again, okay? So you're throwing the line upstream, and immediately high loop, kind of throwing your line upstream, high loop, throwing your line upstream, and you're trying not to influence the indicator so that the fly continues to drift freely down river. Okay, so let me demonstrate it again. So throwing it upstream, immediately the line starts going downstream, lift way up, bring your line over. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it one more time. Lift way up, bring your line over. And that is an upstream mend and a technique you really want to be able to have uh, when you're fishing any, any type of river systems. Doesn't have to be hard, doesn't have to be fast, just has to be proficient. And now you have the best opportunity to set that, set the hook on a fish that might want to eat it. There we go. Looks like a good one. Right where you're supposed to be too, right? In that slot. Nice cutthroat. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful too. Just gorgeous looking cut. I still marvel on just how pretty they are. At least itself. It's always nice that way. Alright, that's today's episode and I hope that helps. Thanks for tuning in. 